Hey there everyone and welcome to the next video here on the Duct Tape Stuff channel. In this tutorial I'm actually going to show you how to make a CD case, a case for all your CDs. A while back I did make a tutorial on how to make an actual holder for your CD player and this tutorial is going to be a little bit different because we're actually going to show you how to actually make a, a holder for all your CDs. Now this is basically going to be my second, hi second hybrid tutorial just because we are going to be using the CD sheets here which come in a lot of CD holders. So basically it's going to be a hybrid tutorial because I'm using these instead of you know just duct tape but I'm actually going to show you at the end how you can actually make these out of duct tape so if you don't want this to be a hybrid tutorial and you want to make the entire thing out of duct tape you, there will be an option for that I'll show you how to do that at the end so let's get started here on our first step on making a duct tape CD case all right, so your first step was what you're going to do is you're going to go out and get a CD case just like this. Now, you don't need to spend a lot of money to get one. I actually got this one at the dollar store for a buck. But basically, you're, what you're buying it for is not only the dimensions for your CD case, but also for these sheets inside if you are using the sheets. Like I said before, if you are you're going to make it all out of duct tape, just watch the video. I'll show you how to make uh, the uh, these sheets out of duct tape at the very end. But say let's say that you are uh, going out and getting one of these you know, for a buck or something like that. And what you're going to do is most of the time, these are just sewn into the actual CD case here, you're just going to simply remove them. And all of these are actually attached together because they're all, they were sewn into the, uh, the spine of the CD case here and then they're all sewn together. We're actually going to start cutting all of these apart just so that we can attach each one of them individually. So that's going to be our next step. So once you've got this, your CD case here, just make sure you rip these out and make sure you're careful, you know, just remove the stitching if they're stitched in and then we'll get started on our, stack, on our second step. Okay, so now let's start cutting out strips and start making our duct tape CD case. So we're just going to take these sheets here, we're going to set those aside for now, and I'm going to measure the CD case right here. So using my handy grids here, I'll line it up. About lengthwise, we're looking at about 14 and a half inches long here. So I'm probably going to go to 15 inches for that. And we're looking at, let me see here, one, two, three, four, five, six. Probably it's about six and a half inches high, but I'm going to go to seven inches there so to make it a little bit easier and I'll have a little more room for myself when I do start cutting the strips out. So, what, basically what we're going to do is we're going to cut out a whole bunch of strips that are 15 inches long and we'll start sticking those together until we get a sheet of tape that's pretty much the, exactly the same size as the CD case right here. So let's get started on that right now. All right, so I have four strips cut out here that are 15 inches long, and I'm going get to guys, get you guys started here on how to craft your CD case here. I'm just going to get you started, and I can figure you can probably stick the rest of the strips down to make our 15 by 7 inch sheet. So take your first two strips that are 15 inches long, and 15 inches is a decent length for sticking down duct tape, so it might be a little bit difficult if you're not used to working with the longer strips, but carefully, just carefully stick it down. Slow and steady wins the race, and it certainly does in duct tape, so just do it nice and slowly. You shouldn't get any air bubbles or anything like that. Take your third strip, and just like we're making a regular duct tape sheet, we're just going to stick a little bit of it on that sheet that we just stuck down, flip the whole thing over, take our fourth here, and obviously you will be cutting out more. I'm just giving you an idea of how to stick the, sh the uh, sheet together here. So that's the four. Now obviously you're going to cut out a few more here, and like I said, we're going to line up the bottom of it with, uh, with the one here, which is a little bit off the camera, but it starts at one. And like I said before, we're going to seven inches, which is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that's where we're going to, and we will be sticking, I'd say probably, you're probably going to need four more strips just to overlap them and then come to a total um, height of seven inches there. So let's take a few more strips, stick them together until you have the sheet of tape that's 15 inches long and 17 inches is high. So do that step now. So this is what the sheet looks like once you've gotten the rest of the strips stuck down. Remember it's 7 inches high by 15 inches long. And I did do a little trimming on the sides, but remember since we, we went to an extra half an inch from, because remember it was 14 and a half inches and we went to 15, you're going to have just a little bit of wiggle room to work with because you know you, we over uh, made the sheet a little bigger, about half an inch bigger than it needed to be. So you're going to have a little room to trim just if you need to. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to fold in half, see if it works, and we're going to start sticking the sheets in. So that's going to be our next step. So stay tuned and we'll get started on that now. 
Alright, so now if you look at your CD case here, you'll notice that it doesn't exactly fold in half. It actually folds twice here to form a part of a square. So basically what we're going to do is you're going to lay it down here, line up just with the sheet that you made, and you're going to mark on the tape where those two folds are. Now remember, this creates the spine of the CD case, so you want to make it big enough so that you're able to stick all those sheets in and you won't have any you know, stuck on the part that's going to fold. So you definitely want to mark those nice and well, make sure that they're exactly line up with where the actual CD case folds. Next you're going to do, is hopefully you guys can barely see those, there's two little marks up there at the top. You're going to take your sheets, your duct tape, your uh, sheet here, and you're going to crease it where those marks are. So remember we're not folding it all the way to the end here, it stops a little bit short. I'm going to make a good crease right there. Once you've gotten that you can fold it back and you're going to fold this side over obviously coming to that other mark that I made. If I can find it in there, let's do it this way. Which should be right about there. And we're going to make the other crease right there. So we got that. And stuck down. Now you should have those two creases in and when you fold it together like the actual CD case folds it should come evenly right to the top just like that. So that is perfect. That's exactly what we're going to work with. So now let's start with sticking the, the CD sheets into this CD holder. So like I said before, all your CD sheets are probably going to be sucked, sucked together or sewn together. So we're just going to take our pair of scissors here and I'm just going to trim very, very close to the spot to where they are usually uh, sewn together there, the part that I ripped out of the actual CD case. And you want to be careful, very careful, just to make sure you do cut in a perfect straight line, straight up, and that you do leave a little bit of room here at the end. You see there's a little bit where this is going to normally be attached to the uh, CD case. You definitely want to leave as much room there as you possibly can because that's the part where the duct tape is actually going to stick onto the CD case and then also the other part is going to stick onto the duct tape CD case that we had down here. So you definitely want to make sure you do have enough room there and, and you want to cut out as many of these as you want. I'm, you know, cut out a decent amount of them and then we're going to stick these into the case here. So cut out as many as you want to and then we'll start sticking them in. So for the purpose of this tutorial I'm actually going to show you how to attach just two of them and then basically you know, you're just going to attach as many as you want to in the exact same way. So let's get our first one here. I'm going to do this in orange just so you can, guys can kind of see what I'm doing here. I cut out a, a strip of tape that's the same length as the bottom of the, uh, or the side here of the CD holder. Just cut it into four little strips. And basically what we're going to do is we're going to attach, stick half of it on this sheet. Actually, probably do it this way. You're going to start with the, to the left and then work your way to the right. So start with as far over here as you can. And you're just going to basically attach this piece right onto the holder here. Try to get about half of it on the actual holder and then half of it on the duct tape of the CD case. And obviously, you know, you want to line this in the, up in the middle here just so you know, you know it's not too toward, towards the side or towards the front or anything like that. Then you want to fold the entire thing over, just like that. But you can crease it if you want to, that would probably make it a little bit easier for you. Take your second strip here, and you're going to attach this, about half of it on the strip, and then half of it on the actual CD holder itself. Now if you do have a lot of problems with actually making sure this stays in because obviously when it has a couple CDs in it, it's probably going to be a little bit heavy. So you can make these these strips a little bit wider and you can stick it farther onto the actual CD holder here. But just, just so you know, like when you slip your CD in, if you do go farther onto here, you're probably going to end up covering up part of the CD if that's, you know, that makes a difference to you. But basically, you know, that's what it looks like when it's stuck on, you know, just kind of like a T pattern there, an upside down T. And that's pretty much how it's going to work. So you've gotten your first one there. I'll show you how to do another one. I'm going to take our second one here, stick it here, and I'm going to attach this one directly to the the uh, right side of the of the strip that was on there. So this is effectively going to be stuck down onto the actual holder before it, instead of actually the duct tape holder underneath. So you got that on there, make sure that's creased, flip the whole thing over, and then just like beforehand, this is actually going to be stuck down onto the blue part here. 
So do your best just to stick that down. And like I said before, you can make these wider if you're having any problems, so just make sure to do that. And there you have pretty much your duct tape CE case. That's, that's the, the core part of it. And obviously, you know, when you keep sticking a whole bunch of these together, you'll have a whole album which you can stick a whole bunch of CDs in. So now I'll go over a few ways that you can improve it, just make it a little more stylish and, you know, to add a few things to it. So we'll do that next. Alright, so the first thing I did was just round the edges just to make it look a little bit cooler because obviously the edges are rounded on the actual CD case here. The, this CD case does have like a little tassel, I guess you can just hang it up somewhere or you can probably hang it onto your backpack or something like that. You can easily just make one of these out of a piece of duct tape and it'll probably hold up a little bit better than this one has. So you can just, you know, attach that to the top here. Um, there really isn't a way to incorporate a zipper into it just because the duct tape isn't really going to flex as well as the fabric that's attached to the zipper is. So there's really no way to do that, but to keep it close, you know, you can just take your CD case here. Once you have a whole bunch of CDs in it, you can just take a little piece of tape or a, f a little flap, a little loop that can just slide in, or you can, you know, just take a piece of tape and stick it down, and that'll prevent your CDs from coming out. Um, this, this CD case is a little bit bigger than the actual one here, because obviously, you know, you have a lot of room here at the top and bottom, but you can do any trimming if you wanted to, just to make it a little bit uh, more portable, make it a little more streamlined, but, you know, basically you take your, uh, your CDs, you chuck them all in here, and now you can just just put a whole bunch of CDs in there. So that's how to make a duct tape CD case. Hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. And uh, oh, that's right. Now I'm going to go over briefly on how to uh, make these out of duct tape as well. So let's go over that briefly, real quick. Almost forgot there. Let's say you wanted to make these out of duct tape, so you didn't want to make it a hybrid tutorial where I'm actually using these CD holders. You could actually make these out of duct tape. Now, basically what you would do to do that is measure them down here. Let's see, it comes to about, it's about six inches high. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, six inches high and about six inches wide. So you make a whole bunch of sheets that are the, those dimensions. You're actually going to need two of them. Stick them together, just like you would make a wallet. Seal them up on the sides and the bottom. And then, you know, just it works just like an envelope, you would just slip your CD and just like you know you would normally would with these here. I'm not sure how well the the uh, duct tape is going to be on the surface of the CDs, like the surface that plays. I'm not sure if that's going to mess that up over time or if it's going to get all a little gunked up. But you, know, you guys probably want to try that out first before you do and make a whole bunch of them and then stick a whole bunch in. So that's how to make a duct tape CD case. Hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. There will be more coming in the future. So take care. Stay tuned to the channel and just have fun making a CD case. See you next time.